Another amazing thing that thick paint can do is use multiple colors through the mixer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the mixer here. Then I'm gonna click on this button here that is sample multiple colors. Now I can choose the range of colors that I'm gonna sample with this slider here, which is going to control the area that's selected here on the color mixer. So it would be a smaller circle if I set this lower, a bigger circle encompassing more colors if I set it higher. Let's go ahead and just stick with the default for now. And I'm gonna click right between this green and this yellow right on the line there. Then I'll go ahead and paint a brush stroke and you can see that it's yellow on one side and green on the other. And if you're using a Wacom art pen, you can actually rotate your brush and get the color on opposite sides as well. To do that, you need to go to your advanced brush controls. And I'm using the heavy loaded palette knife, but you could use just about any brush that uses angle. We'll look under angle here and we'll set the expression from bearing to rotation. We can go ahead and close that. And now you can see if I make a stroke and then I rotate my pen and flip it over, I have the color on the opposite side. For example, we could use this to really quickly make little river rocks and things like that. Now, if you want to put down your own colors, you'll want to go ahead and just clear the mixer here. And then you can click on the apply color button. Let's go to our color picker and let's pick a color. Let's say this dirty brown here. I'll go back to the mixer. I'll put some of that down. I'm going to make sure that dirty brush mode is turned off. We'll go back to the color. We'll pick a lighter color. Back to the mixer. Put down some of the lighter color and have them kind of blend together. You can also mix the color with the mix color button to blend it together to get a few different transitions. But generally speaking, you don't want to make too big of blobs here because you're only going to be able to sample a maximum size. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that sampling size, choose sample multiple colors. And I'm going to click right in the center of those transitions. Let's do a test stroke and see what we get. Now we get something that looks more like a rock. So I could really quickly and easily paint rocks that have a few different colors in them. There's also a lot of other color mixers you can experiment with if you click on the top right sub dialog. And then you can choose restore mixers. Here's John Malcolm's mixer. And let's take a look at Jeremy Sutton's mixer. This gives you all kinds of different creative possibilities.